Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be going over a fuel spill that happened yesterday at work. We're going to go over what the mechanic was doing, what we're doing, the type of aircraft, and how we solved this problem. Let's check it out. All right, so this is what the mechanic was looking at. This is under the right wing. So we had a fuel spill. What, what happened was is the fuel truck came in and overfilled this wing, which started to cause it to overflow and come out the vent and onto the ground. So looking at it, there's three tanks, and basically the mechanic was trying to get the, flu the, the fuel to the center tank. That was his goal, and then that way it would stop that leak from happening. And we could because the aircraft was fine it just needed to solve this um this fuel problem and the aircraft could be on its way so this is what the 737 um kind of fuel tank looks like so there's three tanks so we were look we were just looking at this section right here under the right wing so you could see there's the right wing tank center tank and then the other one was to the left wing tank and then the surges on the right and left. So it was going into the surge right tank and then going on to the ground. So this is a 737 Boeing. You can tell it's a Boeing because of this V-shaped windows here. This nose is a lot more pointier than the Airbus's is. And then it has a split wing scimitar, which some of them have. And then also this dorsal is a little long here. That's how I can kind of tell it's a 737. Savings over today's main competitors, and a big component of getting that efficiency is the new advanced technology winglet. Along with the upper winglet, we've added a lower winglet. The lower winglet, in addition, moves the effective span of the wing outboard, reducing drag and improving the fuel burn for the customer. Yeah, so they said it's like a 1% fuel efficiency with that split wings, uh, winglets, but over time that 1% really adds up to a lot of cost savings. So next we're going to look at the 737 here. You can tell it has the chevrons, and this is for noise cancellation, but let's hear what Boeing has to say in NASA. Those are the sawtooth pattern that you can see me if I hold it this angle a little bit better. You can see the sawtooth pattern. That's what is called the chevron. And that is a change from just the regular smooth, round lip that most nozzles have. That change modifies how the flow uh, downstream of the engine makes noise. It makes it so that it doesn't make as much noise, which is obviously what we all want, the aircraft to be quieter. All right, so if you're getting value from this video, um, please take the time to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So coming back to the scene, you can see the mechanic was still working there, and then our job was to go ahead and help out with this um, fuel spill here. So this is where the f fuel um, tank vent was. So you could see kind of here, you could see the fuel was coming out and kind of running along this wing and falling all on the ground. But it was coming out of this hole right here, this vent. And then here's our, our, our vehicle. So it's an Oshkosh Striker, 1,500 gallons of water with 450 gallons of foam. And basically you just put down that absorbent let it settle and absorb up that jet a fuel which has about 100 degrees fahrenheit um flash point which is pretty high but we're always ready you could see his turrets was there just in case and then this is a look at the absorbent that was being used it's basically like kitty litter but it's really good at um soaking up all those hazmat fuels and we can gather it and dispose of it properly so this happened at Kahului Airport on the island of Maui. This is runway two, runway five. And then the fire station, the R fire station is at the end of departure end of runway two. You can see these beautiful trucks here. And these um, fire stations are set up strategically because if a plane were to crash, we're assuming that it's going to skid to the end of the runway and we'll be waiting there, standing by. 
Um, so also you can check out this. We had a hydraulic fluid leak last week and I did a rundown similar kind of video to this one here today. So if you like this one, go ahead, click there and watch that one. Take time, like and subscribe. See you guys next time.